How favourably will Israel come out with what's going on with the settlers on the West Bank? I watched a very disturbing report on the BBC from Jeremy Bowen tonight where there is clear, uh, huge aggression from Israeli settlers against Palestinians, a lot of deaths, and Hamas are not involved there. They're, they're not the controlling body. How do you feel about that? So, first of all, we did have a terrible terrorist attack in Jerusalem just a few days ago where Hamas uh, shot at people uh, waiting at a bus stop on their way to work. I think that was, was that Friday morning or Thursday morning last week? That was widely reported. Uh, Hamas doesn't control the West Bank, but Hamas has violent cells across the West Bank that are there and they've wanted to activate those cells. And that's why we, we had those murderous attacks in Jerusalem uh, just a few days ago. Hamas is there. They're more underground on the West Bank, but they're still a threat. And we've tried to be as proactive as we can be in trying to go out there and arrest Hamas activists. Look, Hamas in Gaza is under a lot of pressure. So they've sent messages to all their cells in the West Bank. This is a time for you guys to kill Jews. Yes. And, and they succeeded, unfortunately, last week. But we have limited their ability to to kill people by being proactive, arresting people in the middle of the night, but does taking wiping out these Hamas out, but activists. Does wiping out villages um, and looking like you are encroaching more and more with the settlements throughout this conflict, is that not just incredibly inflammatory uh, to the Palestinian I'm people sorry, living uh, in the West Bank? Uh, 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 Piers, there's been no villages that have been wiped out. Well, I, I literally I saw what, one on the BBC where, where it's been almost demolished and the people have been displaced. 200 or so had been displaced permanently. So, so once again, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about, uh, and I apologise for not having that information. Mm -hmm. But the Israeli policy on the West Bank is to live and let live, yes? And that's, if Palestinians that's not are not involved in violence... Regan, with respect. That's not, that's not what's been I happening. disagree. I mean, it's obviously been a difficult period, but we have so far managed to keep, and despite the fatalities we had last week, yes, it could be a lot worse. But through our actions, we've managed to keep the level of violence on the West Bank relatively low. I mean, the Hamas people want to see an explosion on the West Bank. That's what they want. They want to see uh, Hamas activists get on, the, on, on, on jeeps like they did in Gaza and come into Jewish communities and butcher people. That's what they want to see. And so far, once again, we had fatalities last week, but I think overall we've managed to keep the level of violence relatively low, and that's a good thing for Israelis okay. and Palestinians.